But the big story on Action News tonight is the arrest of a former Philadelphia teacher and Boy Scout leader accused of sexually assaulting a young student. Prosecutors announced charges today against 68 year old Keith Steininger, who they say assaulted the boy over two years, beginning when the alleged victim was just 11. Of deep concern to investigators tonight is this. Steininger taught with the DA calls vulnerable children at Girard College for 41 years, prompting worry there may be more victims. Action News reporter Caroline Goggin live at that school in Fairmount tonight. Caroline, please say Steininger actually admitted to what he did. Yeah, Brian, he did exactly that in a recorded phone call just last week. Now, authorities tell us that Steininger met the alleged victim here at Girard College. This is described as a boarding school for students who come from families with limited financial resources or from single parent households. Tonight, we are still waiting for comment from Girard College as one of their former teachers faces charges. In a write-up about his retirement from Girard College in 2022, Keith Steidinger was described as a generous friend, storyteller, and role model. The 1 through 12 boarding school shared these pictures of him on the campus in Fairmount, where he worked as a teacher and Boy Scout leader. Tonight, the 68-year-old is behind bars, accused of sexual contact with a student. The, the incidents that took place with this victim uh, took place at his home here in Upland. Delaware County. But Delaware County DA Jack Stolsteimer says Steininger met the alleged victim at Girard College in Philadelphia. He was his teacher and scout leader. The child reported that the alleged assaults took place from 2018 to 2020 when he was 11 to 13 years old. He was at that time living with his biological mother. Uh, he is now living with foster parents here in Delaware County. It was the victim's foster mother who called police in Upland Borough in January to report what had happened. According to the criminal complaint, the victim was interviewed by authorities in February. And just last week, there was then a, a phone call that was placed with detectives on the line a consensual recording uh, where the defendant admitted to the behavior. The complaint states that during that call, the defendant further admitted that he enjoys showing physical affection to and with other children. That has law enforcement concerned that there could be other victims. Dozens, of course, and hundreds of kids uh, he's been able to have contact with. We hope this is a one off but uh, our fear is it could be more. Steininger is facing several charges, including intercourse or sexual contact with a student, indecent assault of a person younger than 13, and unlawful contact with a minor. And the DA is asking any possible victims out there to contact authorities as soon as possible. Right now, Steininger remains behind bars. His bail was set at $250,000. He will remain there until his next court hearing, which is set for May 2nd. That is the latest live in Fairmount. I'm Caroline Goggin, Channel 6 Action News. Brian. Okay, Caroline, thank you.